So I went to the doctor. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. So let's recap a little. Jessica? Oh, okay. You want to do a recap? Yes. I love recaps. So basically, if you didn't know, we are the Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm we Jessica. just said that. And he's Brian. Oh yeah. We already said that. But we started our diet back in June 2018. Mm -hmm. And we started by eating two weeks of plain potatoes, inspired by Penn Jillette. Um, we, you can watch our very first video that we ever did where we are not as happy as we are now. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Um, and yeah, you can see how we started the diet, but it turned into a lifestyle for us. So we started following a whole food plant-based diet after the two weeks of potatoes and it has completely changed our lives. We are never going back to how we used to eat and we decided to start this channel to share all of that with you guys. So we have lost a lot of weight along the way, um, but this episode in particular is actually all about Brian. So we're only gonna talk about Brian today. Brian has lost, I am proud to say, 175 pounds. He started at 514 pounds. Why don't you go ahead and throw up a couple of photos of when you first started? All right, cue fat <laughs> photo sequence. <laughs> um, so yeah, he started at 514 pounds and honestly, um, one of the reasons we started doing this was because we were both concerned if he was going to make it to 40. Um, and he, what are you now? 37? 37. Um, he's 37 now. He'll be 38 this year. And I definitely no longer think about that. Um, but going to the doctor, we always, as we always say, we're not, we don't give medical advice. Yep. We ain't doctors. Um, but we do go see our doctor and Brian doesn't necessarily go as often as I would like him to, but he did go for a regular blood work checkup last Friday Yes. and he got the results back the same day, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. And we thought we would share them with you. Yes. So let me just give you a little bit of background about uh, this particular thing. So I met this doctor. I'm not going to tell you his name or anything because I don't, you know, he's, he's a private person. Uh, but I met him for the first time in August of 2018. We were already into our diet. And uh, I did a complete physical there and got all my results back and everything was, was good. Uh, there was definitely some room for improvement and, uh, and all of that, but he was actually very happy with the weight loss that I had currently achieved at that time, which was about 60 pounds. And uh, so then I scheduled this appointment for last Friday and uh, it was great. So I go in there and I'm sitting around waiting and doctor walks in and he's just like, I was so excited when I saw your name on the list. Now, at first, my reaction is like, oh, somehow maybe he knows about the channel or something now. No, he doesn't know about the channel at all. He doesn't know anything about the YouTube stuff, but he might be watching now. So if you are watching now, hi. Uh, but he was so excited because he saw my name on the list. He knew that I was losing weight last time. And then he saw the weight that I was listed as uh, on the scale from the doctor's office that morning, which was quite a bit heavier actually because I was still wearing clothing and everything. But he was so ecstatic because I'd lost an additional 100 pounds from what it previously was. And it was just like, uh, it was just a crazy amount of, of like weight lost. And he was so happy to actually see me. And he was like, man, he's like starting my day out on a great note. So I was like, yes, mm -hmm. perfect. So my doctor is awesome. He also doesn't wear a lab coat, which I think is great. And he also dresses very nicely too. He's a very stylish man. But uh, yes, yeah, so I went and got my, my blood work done and all the other stuff that, that he checked up on and everything was pretty awesome. Uh, but 
I wanted to get the lab results back because I wanted to make sure that everything else was being checked off that I needed to do and things were improving in certain key areas. I put together the information on my trusty clipboard and I'm not gonna show you this because it has Brian's personal information at the top. Yeah, it does. Um, but we basically have all the results here and so we're gonna go through. So we're gonna start with the vitamin B12 level because yes. this is one thing when you switch to a plant-based diet, everyone asks, how are Everyone. you gonna get your B12? Yes, and uh, this was actually quite fascinating. So uh, we actually did have lab results from a previous doctor back in 2014. And uh, it, it was pretty cool because uh, my vitamin B12 at the time in 2014 was 600, right? 600. Which is still, like, I think they say 400 is really, if you're under 400, that's where they get really concerned, although they like it to be higher yes. um, than that. But yeah, you were at 600 in 2014 when you were eating Every meat, bad everything, thing, yeah, yeah. all that, yes. Uh, and as of this Friday, my B12 was 741. Yay. So I wanted to start off the bat with, uh, with that one right there, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one which is the one thing that I definitely need to improve upon. And uh, it yes. was kind of fascinating. So when Jessica went to the doctor, uh, yes. she was tested for vitamin D. Yes. And she was considered low. Mm -hmm. And what was your level? You said it was like a 16 or uh, yeah, something. Yeah, I think it, it was, was like, like, yeah, it was like 16. 17. This was like a, a while ago, like a year and a half or so ago. Yes. It was, probably, it was about 16. Yes. So, so my doctor put me on a supplement. Yes. In 2014, my vitamin D was 15. And he recommended I go on a supplement as well. I did not do that, though. I didn't though. do it. Uh, I, have a, I have a hard time listening to doctors at times. That was a different times. doctor. <laughs> and, and it was also a different time in my life. I listen True. to doctors more now. True. Uh, but now, my vitamin uh, D was actually the low, low number of nine. So the doctor has definitely recommended that I start taking some type of a vitamin D supplement. Yes. Uh, if you guys know of good ones out there, please let me know. You can comment down below. Uh, the types of vitamin D supplements that maybe you use. So also, I was gonna say, uh, we haven't had a lot of sun lately around yeah, St. Louis. And it's I don't generally white cloudy. go outside yes. ever. So. But I avoid the sun because my skin gets burnt instantly. But um, but yeah, it's definitely something that you need to work on because nine is horrible. 30 is like the low, low end of yeah. the range that they want you to be at, so. When I go into the sun and I tan, I look great. I don't burn at all. So next up, we have the comprehensive metabolic panel, which is actually a bunch of stuff on here. Uh, a lot of it's not really that important, uh, but there are two things that I really wanted to focus on, and that was the ALT and AST, which are my liver enzymes. Yeah, so if you don't know what that uh, those are, basically they're enzymes that are found in your blood and they're supposed to be in low levels. And when you have a high level, they indicate that you could have some liver disease or liver damage. So my doctor, for example, told me that my high levels original, like back before we started the plant-based diet were probably caused by fatty liver disease, um, which can be caused just by being overweight or it can be caused by alcohol, which I don't drink. Brian doesn't really drink either. Um, so we knew it wasn't that. It was definitely the overweight thing. We were fat. Yes, but the interesting thing is that Brian's numbers actually were, in 2014, the numbers were normal. And then in 2018, they had sort of started to, you know, his overweightness had started to catch up with him. So do you want to tell him the numbers? Yes, so in 2014, my ALT was at a 32, which they recommend that it be lower than 42. Uh, and then my AST was at a 23, and that was uh, recommended to be lower than a 41. Cut to 2018, and my ALT is at 68, and my AST is at 51. So both very high. And that was actually after we started the whole food plant-based diet. So yeah. two months in, his numbers were still that high. So unfortunately, Brian did not go, I really wish he had gone right before we started and gotten the blood work done. Yeah. Because I guarantee you those numbers were even higher than that. Yeah. And so after even starting the diet, you know, so some of these numbers were probably massively higher than what we're even what we even know they are yeah so cut to last friday and uh my alt has dropped down to 31 and my ast has dropped down to 27 so 
Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, and, and I know your doctor was super happy with, with those. In his little message, I know he was super happy about those. Yes, he was quite happy with that one. Uh, but there's a couple of other things on here too. My calcium is pretty solid right now. Uh, and my creatine is, is also quite good. Glucose levels are actually quite good as well. You know, all pretty straightforward. Nothing's really changed over the last several years. But, you know, that, that if, if it had changed dramatically, I would have told you. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's go ahead and move on to, uh, let's see, my hemoglobin. I don't know why, I just wanted to talk about hemoglobin. <laughs> uh, but in 2014, my the estimated average glucose of A1C was at a 108.3. And then uh, in 2018, it was at a 100. And then it cut to 2020 and it was at a 97. And so they, it's, it's actually all pretty awesome, all pretty standard range. And, uh, but it's still nice to see that it's gone down a little bit there just because, you know, it can be in, indicative of other problems. Uh, and the hemoglobin A1C uh, was at a 5.4. It's recommended that it be lower than a 5.7. That was for 2014. And then in 2018, I was at a 5.1. And now in 2020, I'm at a 5.0. So, yay. If you hear a little barking, not really, he's not really barking. He's more just squeaking in the background. Yeah, that's it's the bug. It's just Oliver because he's, you know. Disappointed. Well, it's not even close to 8 o'clock. Not so. even close to being uh, oh, the F-O-O-D time. He knows the word. If oh. I say it out loud, he'll freak out. Uh, but let's go on to my lipid panels because this yes, is one thing that it, very interesting. I, I get asked about a lot. And uh, so in, let's start with cholesterol. Okay. All right, cholesterol level in 2014 was a 144. They recommend that obviously your cholesterol be lower than 200. So my cholesterol was pretty good. Yeah, he's one of these fat people who never has any problems with like, his blood pressure was always fine. His cholesterol was always fine. Like, no, it's just like, yeah. I have literally had a doctor <laughs> tell me that I was a miracle. <laughs> Not joking. Literally a miracle. But that being said, it is really cool to see how far the numbers <laughs> have actually dropped. And now Oliver has resorted to barking. Poor guy. Uh, so 2018, my cholesterol dropped to 127. And in 2020, it is down to a 106. And my doctor is all perfectly happy with that. He thinks that is fantastic. So I'm good with that too. Uh, for my HDL, which is the good cholesterol, uh, you know, they recommend that it be arranged between 40 and 59. So in 2014, it was actually at a 39. So it was still like a, you know, a tiny bit lower than what they want it to be, but cut to 2018 and it's at a 29. And so they're just like, my doctor was just like, okay, we need to yeah. get that up. He's like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll come up whenever you start losing the weight and stuff. He goes, but you know, it, it, it's something that should be improved upon hopefully the next time. So go to the next time. And my HDL has jumped up to 37 and he's just expecting that number to, to improve uh, after this as well. So Hold I'm quite happy about second. that. Just give me one minute. Oliver's really interested in your blood work. Oh, huh. All right. So let's get on to the LDL, uh, which is, in 2014 was 97 and they want it to be lower than 100. So it was, it was definitely up there and could be, could be down. Uh, but in 2018, it was at 75. And then at 2020, it is at a 56. Yes, so uh, my LDL has definitely dropped off quite a bit and uh, doctor was also quite happy with that one. For the non-HDL cholesterol, uh, let's see, I was at a 104 in 2014. They wanted to be lower than 130, so that was still fine. Like I said, I was a fairly healthy, high-functioning fat person. Uh, in 2018, that number was at a 98, so it was definitely lower. And then in uh, 2020, it was at 69. So yeah, that one has also just dropped off like a rock. And then here we go, triglycerides. Triglycerides in 2014 was uh, 115. And then in 2018, it was dropped one point to 114. <laughs> And then in 2020, it was at 67. Wow. So yeah, you do the math there. That is like a massive, massive drop off. But I only got one more thing for you as far as my panel is concerned. And that is protein. Because as any of you guys know, when you're on a whole food plant-based diet or any of that kind of stuff, you get asked a lot, hey, where do you get your protein from? 
How are you getting enough protein? Have you eaten enough protein today? You're looking a little deficient in protein. I don't know what a person deficient in protein looks like, but you look like you're deficient in protein. How many times can I say the word protein? Either way, you've heard it a thousand times before. So my protein level, which is one of these things that uh, they, they check for certain markers in the blood. It isn't exactly like straightforward, like this number is completely indicates your level of protein, but it is a good indicator for where your protein levels are actually at. And my doctor explained that to me. He's like, you know, yeah, we check that, but it's not like a, a very clear like this yeah. is the exact number. It's not the best way for them to actually, there, there are other tests I think they can do. That yes. If they're really concerned, yes. but it, it can be like a little flag of warning. But my doctor also said it is, you know, if you're eating enough, he goes, it's near impossible to have a protein deficiency. Uh, so my protein in 2014 was listed as a 6.9, right? And then a couple months into our weight loss journey, Oh, I said adventure. journey. Adventure. Adventure. Uh, I was at a 7.1. And then uh, come this last Friday, I was at 7.5. So while I was eating the standard American diet, my protein was fine. It was okay. Now that I am not eating the standard American diet, my protein is even better. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. Doctors did. Scientists actually knew that stuff. So uh, I am just extremely ecstatic about all of this though, because everything was great except for the vitamin D, which obviously I'm going to take supplements for. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to try to make an effort to go out into the sun more often because I like my dark caves uh, that I work and live in. But mm -hmm. I'm just happy and I just wanted to share this with you guys. I know it was just a lot of numbers and stuff and some of you guys may not like get into the sciencey bits of it, but I absolutely love this stuff. There's some of my favorite things. Self-analyzation is just fantastic for me. Uh, but I am, I'm so happy that I got to share this with you guys. Uh, and I promise though that next, next video, next video is a recipe and we're gonna have a bunch more recipes. Yes, Peep's back there Peep's minding back there the soup. minding the soup that we made today. Yes. I think he's actually trying to steal it. He could, <laughs> but you know, you never know with him. Uh, but trust me, we've got the recipes coming out like right next video and yes. coming up after that, we've got an entire schedule planned for Yay. different recipe videos that we're gonna be making. So yes, everything yes. about that is, is coming along. I know some of you has, have asked about that before, but- uh, Oliver has an announcement. Oliver has an announcement. He won. Yes. So also we, when we were figuring out our schedule, we made, we decided what to do with our live streams. So we've been wanting to come up with a schedule for our live streams. Oh, bud. Um, we've been wanting to come up with a schedule for our live streams. And so we finally decided on a schedule. It's going to be the second Sunday of each month and the fourth Wednesday of each month. Um, and the Sunday ones will usually be like more afternoon. So in our time so that we can have our friends around the world in different places join in. And then the Wednesday ones will be after we get home from work. So usually probably around like 8 PM central. So the next live stream, according to the calendar is this, what, is, what date is that? The 26th, Wednesday, the 26th, February 26th at 8. 8 p.m. Central is our next live stream. But Jessica, aren't we also releasing the soup video on that day as well? Yes, the soup video is also coming out on that same day. So you're getting a double dose of Crocs, wee. people. Um, yes. So I don't know if the video will come out before or after the live stream. I haven't figured that part out yet. Eh. But it will be, we're going to be doing an hour long live stream on Wednesday. So we hope you can join us. Um, this one will probably just be a lot of like general kind of Q and A type stuff. We don't really necessarily have like a specific topic to talk about. Um, but I'm sure we'll come up with some stuff to talk about. Yeah. So but, yeah, that's Oliver's announcement. Yes. Thanks, uh, also, Oliver. if you haven't subscribed, did you just yawn? he probably did. If you haven't subscribed, <laughs> please do so. You can click the subscribe button uh, down below and click the bell notification that is right next to it. So you get notified whenever we post a new video or go live actually. Uh, also, you can find us on social media on Facebook and Instagram. Go ahead and message us on there. We hopefully we'll get back to everybody and, and answer any questions you guys might have. Uh, but I think that's all I got. That's all I got. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye.